What's up scrollers, it's Nerf here, and today Chief Bromden is online for us to play a match, and what have I not played? Um, not really sure what I haven't played. Uh, let's play some Control Decay. I'm trying to think of what I uh, have played since my hiatus ended. Just trying to give a wide variety of uh, matches on my channel. And I'm very happy to find another strong player available to play with me. Um, so this is not quite my Modern Decay deck. It's a little more... Um, it's a little slower and more controlly. So this is actually... Kind of got it. can go two, three... I'll get rid of the early unbind but languid unbind is a good play actually maybe I should have gotten the sleep more got, gotten rid of the sleep moratorium because I had the languid unbind play in my hand which would have been very good okay um, get rid of the necker get in that's actually good because hopefully the sleep moratorium grabs that Gun Automaton. Well, I'm pretty happy about um, uh, this play on the, with the Blight Seed because it's going to go. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Sleep Moratorium. Because he's, there's no way for Chief Problems to kill my unit this turn. So I'm going to get a huge ramp. Next turn, I can actually Linguid and Brain Lice. So, let's see. I guess I'll get rid of the, I don't know, the Nuru. Well, I'm just going to, I could Languid Unbind now. I did draw the, draw the Languid Unbind. Um, I don't think it's like strong enough to do that though. I think I'm just going to go for resources. I should have Languid it first actually. I'll Languid. And then I'll brain lice. And next turn, I can actually. Well, brain lice isn't an enchantment, right? It's an effect. No, it is an enchantment. So I. Noah. What? When Julia and Anna come, get at like twelve thirty. I'm having them come upstairs first. Okay. Sorry about that. Of course, the unbind. That's where it's at. <laughs> um, don't really have a good play this turn, though. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice for uh, scrolls. I mean, I could unbind, could languid, but that doesn't seem worth it to protect the little tribesmen. And perfect. I uh, top deck something that's usable. Um. I guess I'll just put the harvester down. Or the pack husk. The pack husk, I think. Yeah, the harvester, I don't think it uh, counts down really. I mean, it would probably force him to use like removal on it, but right now. I'm not going to really be playing a lot of creatures to protect the Harvester, so I don't think I'd really get an attack off. Next turn. Let's see, is what he's going to play first? Nope, nothing. In that case... You know, I could Corpse Theft. I could straight up corpse step this. And I get it on my side. Um, that doesn't seem like too bad of a play. Let's, uh. Or should I play both of these? But what do I have to sacrifice then? 
You know, let's get rid of the corpse theft here. I don't know if a storm runner is really gonna be too great here. Just in case I'm machinated, I'll position myself accordingly. And now that dies to the brain, last I draw a card. Blight Seed. Perfect. I love my Blight Seeds. Very good card. Last auto. Okay, so that could be a, uh, a languid unbind thing I do. Um, I think I want to just do the languid unbind right now. All right. I could blight seed, but I don't know. I think yeah, because I don't want to sacrifice anything else in my hand at the moment. Or we could just straight up languid it. Whatever. Let's see, let's see the languid unbind. I don't know what else is gonna be like stronger in this deck really. I'm going to sacrifice this for scrolls. I guess I will. You know, I don't have to unbind it just yet. I will blight seed something. Let's blight seed this. I'd love it for it to for it to attack next turn, but oh well. So next turn, I can actually destroy two creatures. An unbind and a soul steal, but right now those two, two creatures are not a threat to me. Huh. I could play Elmire or Witch Doctor next turn if I have no other kind of play. I do like my um I do like my position in this game right now quite a lot. Like that could have been good for the language I'm buying, but oh well. And now here we go. Uh I have a lot of resources to play with here. Languid Unbind. I have a Soul Steel. Let's go ahead and Sleep Motorium, see what we can get. Nice. I think I'm going to play the Nuru. Perfect, now we have 10, uh, potentially 11 mana to play with. Um, I'm going to play the Nuru combined with maybe Pakusk. Yeah, sure, and I'll get rid of one of the Soul Steals. I do have another language Soul Steal in my hand for that, but I don't know if that's necessary at the moment. So let's play the Pack Husk, and then let's play the Nuru. Have fun dealing with that, Chief Ramda. And next turn, I will have, uh, I'll be able to do it Unbind and a Soul Steal. That's two things dying. Actually, I can't afford an old soul seal and a languid unbind. That would cost too much. I kind of overshot that because I don't have a blight seed in action anymore. Double power trip. One of those power trips didn't draw a card though, so you better have a good play here. Maybe a sudden eruption. I guess Chief Brandon, uh, his automaton deck is stronger against a different kind of decay. This is an automaton deck, right? I don't think he's played anything else. I'm surprised I haven't seen any burns yet. Kinda got unlucky there. Or I didn't really have good burn targets. I guess there's this guy and there's this guy, so I don't have burn targets right now. <sighs> Copy with you, yeah, okay. And a bombard. 
So he is going to be able to destroy my harvester there. And that gets poisoned. Um, I think I'll go with the length. Well, if this dies, right? She probably won't get the energy next turn, so I may as well kill it now. That's going to cost... Languid Unbind is going to cost 5, and then I'll have 2 more, but I guess that's going to be my whole turn. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and get rid of the... Too bad, I, actually no, that wouldn't help me. I wish I had a Corpse Theft uh, Unbind, that'd be cool. I'm going to go ahead and just leave him be. I kind of like putting down my witch doctor this around nice another big threat and save the languid unbind and soul steal for next turn so I get rid of the pack husk I'm just gonna play I'm just gonna play my witch doctor and hopefully it doesn't thunder surge me or do something crazy with the storm runner so I guess this deck is more ranged energy than automaton energy Which is good because I played Automaton Energy against somebody who I played Automaton Energy against, maybe Anti Red. So it's good to switch it up. Okay, well, I got a husk out of that. Alright. So. How do I want to do this? I can actually. I can Languid Unbind this, but my husk would do no damage. I could, okay, this is the, I have to unbind this, these guys killed this, the, uh, the, the Thea, so I unbind the last automaton, um, right, and then I can, so, uh, I can't kill this, I can't kill the cannon, so, I don't need actually anything, I could just play the harvester this turn, and the oblivion seeker, I guess. Let's go ahead and get rid of the soul steel. Um, I'm gonna be in a big thunder surge, but oh well. Move my witch doctor back. I don't want it to be uh, dying, and I put a harvester down. Oh no! I messed that up. I miscounted. <laughs> I'm sure you guys were all cringing there. I miscounted my resources. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I could play a harvester and uh, and a oblivion seeker, but really, I needed to save three of those resources for an unbind. Damn, and now I already sacrificed my soul steal. Ugh, not good. I think I am still ahead in this game, though, but that was definitely. This turn could have gotten a lot better with these two things dead. Harvester would be proccing, too, next turn. And this wouldn't be coming in for 7 attack. That was bad. That's not how you do it, guys. Big misplay, but hopefully my uh, uh, big lead so far uh, can help me out. Okay, so he has a potency burst. And that's just going to let him destroy those guys, which is fine. I'll draw a bunch of cards. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. I mean... Corpse theft. Okay, now, you know what? By me making that misplay, now I can make it more fun <laughs> and get do a corpse theft unbind. I can do that. So, corpse theft unbind on the Thea, and I'll sacrifice for resources.
So, corpse theft, unbind. And we have two champions on our board. <laughs> That's cool. You don't see uh, two champions on the board very often. <laughs> I have a new Anathea. Next turn, I can go up to um, nine and play both Soul Steel. Up, oh, that's annoying. Ooh, that's pretty good. It's gonna kill my new Ru. And bring my Thea down to very low health. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get rid of my. Cause the harvester is good. Well, this this the yeah, I have to consider dead. That's only two health. Um, this cannon auto kind of scares me, but what do I soul steal here? The cannon is gonna be dead in a couple turns, so I don't want to soul steal that. Even though it would protect me this turn. Um, so let's just get rid of the language for cards. Necrogeddon? Not yet. And let's just play. I guess I'll use you. Put the Wish Doctor in front? No. Which doctor behind? We'll uh, make my. It will make my um, Thea very vulnerable, but at least I could potentially get a husk out of it. Okay, he's still sitting. All right, so there's a thunder surge. That's his whole, whole turn. Fine. All right, this is gonna die to poison. I'm glad I didn't have another bombard. Bon big bombard play. Um, I could go for a win. Uh, I guess I can. Well, Neckergen can win soon ish. So I'm gonna keep that, I guess. Unbind. Don't really have a good play here. I guess I'm just gonna soul steal this. Move these guys down. Play an infested husk protecting there. And actually. Sure, let's play this too. No, let's not play it. I don't want to fill my board too much. Oh, that didn't have brain lice? Thought I was going to draw, draw a card there. Bit of a letdown. Last automaton. Uh, halls is good. That could halls. Wish I had a. I wish I could, uh, had an enchantment to play and unbind that. So I can do crazy things, but I don't. So halls, and I will blight seed. I'll blight seed something. Hopefully it doesn't have a burn. I guess I'll blight seed this.
Um, do I, I guess I take my extra resource with the Necrogeddon. And I can't win just yet. I can do a Brain Lice Unbind now. Have this go off. Uh, that's going to be 6 mana, and then I can play a Witch Doctor as well. Rather just play an Oblivion Seeker. Let's actually get rid of the Witch Doctor for mana. Brain Lice, Unbind, that attacks. I could Sleep Moratorium. No, we're not going to. Um... How do I want to do this? Let's go ahead and actually kill this. Burn. And a Cannonetta. So I can't win just yet. Uh, may as well let my Harvester proc again. Do I have Watchers in this deck? I'm not sure. Uh, let's get rid of one of the Necrogens. We're not going to do that unless it's a win the game play. Destroy that idol. And play a... Ooh, I could do some crazy stuff with New Rune Sleep Moratorium, right? That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Let's do a couple of, uh... The Oblivion Seekers. Oh, you can give up. I think he knows I'm recording, so he's just trying to be, uh... Yeah, so uh, next time I'm probably just going to win with a Necrogen and maybe even a uh, Sleep More Time into New Reflush Teams just afterwards, so I get five attack uh, husks. So that will be it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you next time.